If you've been following along with our Greenbelt at Home virtual programs, then you would have already seen evergreens of the Greenbelt, and there are lots of them. However, if you take a look around me, you'll notice that our forested woodland is composed of mostly deciduous trees. Want to know what that means? Let's take a crash course right now. And what's so different about evergreens and deciduous trees anyway? Well, you're looking at evergreen leaves right now, but you may know them better as needles. And these needles tend to stay on the tree throughout winter, which keeps our winter landscape nice and green all season long. However, deciduous trees, their leaves tend to be flat and broad. And as we know from our beautiful fall foliage, they change colors right at the end of fall and then they all fall off at the very same time. And the really cool thing is that deciduous plants don't have to be trees, they can be shrubs or vines. The Greenbelt Forest is primarily a beech and oak forest. This right here is an American beech tree and we can identify it pretty clearly by its very simple leaves, which are shaped kind of like ovals. They don't have any lobes and they have these parallel veins. These leaves actually don't completely fall off in autumn. They just kind of lose their life and dry up. And when they shake in the wind, you can hear a really nice rustling sound in the winter. You can also identify trees, especially the beech tree, by its bark. Beech tree bark is known to be very smooth for a very long time, all the way up to the top of the tree. One of my favorite native trees to our eastern woodlands here is the tulip poplar. And it's a really easy one to identify just by its leaves because as you'll see, its leaves have a really interesting shape. Lots of people think it looks like maybe a cat, maybe a fox, but it's called a tulip because the flowers that grow are very beautiful and they grow just like a tulip flower. You may not be able to see these leaves though because the tulip is one of the fastest and tallest growing trees in the eastern woodlands. So it may be really far up there until you start to see branches. Another really common deciduous tree that makes up the Greenbelt's forest is the red maple. And it is another pretty easily identifiable plant just by its leaf shape. We can see it has three lobes, serrated edges, and these very deep V's that separate the lobes. And these trees are the ones that as they change color in autumn, we can thank them for the really, really bright reds and burgundy colors. Another super common deciduous tree here in the Greenbelt is the sweetum. These are extremely easily identified by their leaf shape, which has one, two, three, four, five lobes, sometimes a few more if it's a fancy sweetum, and it looks like a star. You can also tell if you find some of these by the tree's feet. It's not an itchy ball, it's actually a sweet gum seed pod. And one more way to identify the sweet gum tree is by its bark, which you can see is gray and Lakey. Do you happen to recognize this very common and iconic deciduous leaf? Well, let's look at it. It's long, it has smooth, rounded lobes. You got it, it's a white oak. And the green belt is composed of lots of different kinds of oaks, whether they're white, black, red, swamp, white swamp, and oaks are very important to our ecosystem as our squirrel friends love to eat and plant their acorns. A word of caution when identifying any plants in the wild, be careful when you go touch it because maybe, maybe I think that's a tree, but hold on, that looks eerily like poison ivy. And wow, now I notice that that is a whole poison ivy branch connected to this tulip tree. Poison ivy can be a bit of a trickster, especially when it's pretending to be a deciduous tree. But as we already know, it is a deciduous vine. The next time you're hiking in the Greenbelt in search of deciduous trees to identify, you might come across something that seems a little out of place. But don't be alarmed. This plastic tube is a tree guard that has been designed and installed to protect native plantings that the Greenbelt Conservation Corps has installed throughout the park. The thing is that white-tailed deer love to nibble on the buds and fresh tender leaves of native plants especially, and we can't have that happen. So this is our effort to ensure that there is a future forest for all generations. 